What a name for another case, the golden butterfly. Why? I remember when golden butterflies were extinct, because I don't think they ever existed. Oh. Well, this looks troubling. Another young woman stricken down by the powerful man. Oh, God, Galloway. it's you. Got it, Skipper. The Skipper from Gilligan's Island's here? Wait, what? Yeah, I'll bring him. <laughs> He's my partner, after all. I'm the only one in our group that has any what brains. What we got? <laughs> Who cares? Galloway. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. College boy. I think I know the what? place where they found the lady. It over so, uh, can we control the sounds? Because I've been noticing it's been having a little hard, hard of a time hearing me when I go back to rewatch these to make sure that everything recorded properly. Sunset Boulevard. Let's, Let's hope go. that helps you be able to hear me a little bit better. Come on, Phelps, you want to run? Yeah, she's not here today. She must have taken the day off. Did no one's secretary show yeah, up I'm for work today? I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. I mean, did no one's secretary show up for work That's today? Typewriters are not being used, Galloway. Why don't you do some type uh, Galloway? We don't have to. Uh, we may be detectives, but we don't have to take our car. We could just take this one. It's much more easier. And you'll get us there just as quickly. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phil. Not bad for your first time. Ever. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. And please, Galloway, this time see, I no, knew you were she was moonwalking. Phelps. Please, no drinking on the job. After all. Please, no more drinking on the job with Lord Galloway. Calling all cars. Listen reports. Officer needs help. Shots fired. Officer down. Six street. We have an officer place. down, Six huh? Street, all right, we're all away. Shots, shots fired. Fire officer down more. Come on, Galloway. The, uh, the poor lady can wait. We have to help. Get out of the way. We have an emergency. This is car 11K. We're here to help. Uh oh. That alleyway leads to the rear of the building, sir. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. Get this man to a hospital. We'll get them. Cop killers are the worst kind of scumbag. Come on, Phelps. Uh, Up the ladder we go, man. That Come watch. on, you were in the army. You can do this. You like killing cops? <laughs> help console the officer's family, but these guys are done.
Yeah, they didn't put up much of a fight, did they? Because we got Colt's and our trusty weapon. You did good. You did good. You did what you had to do. I feel right about that decision. Because I don't think those guys wanted to have cookies and talk about our feelings. Alright, on to our lady, to our lady, our female lady victim. It's against the rules to drive like this without a siren. Says the guy who drinks on a goddamn job. Am I right, Galloway? Of course I'm right. I watched you drink at Bomba's Bar. Aha, we made it. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. Captain, I have two of my finest farm? investigators on the case. How's your tater farm? Fresh from bringing down the sword of Venus? justice on the crazed sex Captain, Alonso aren't Mendes. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter. So you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world. With so the I don't like the media. They always jump for the right story. They always go for the story How that will get clicks and views to be and readers. Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Shut your gun. Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. Shut the guy, Jim. We have off God's the work to do here on the entire <laughs> What do we have, Captain? Another have, woman sacrificed. We have a dead woman. Speak to the others. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Captain, how's the wife? Clear this oh. area immediately. How's your family, Captain? What How I you miss? doing? How you doing? No other reporters. You just get the you? juice from the reporting the officer in the corner. Detective, I was first on scene. Phelps, you get out of the car. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of the goddamn car, man. All right, now where's the fucking coroner? Or whoever he wants me to talk to, I forget. Hello? Quit pointing at me like that. I'm not a museum artifact. I'm not that goddamn old. Hello? Similar remote. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. Report they're missing. Down house. I mean, not run down, down, but uh, it could, they could have lived in, a, lived in a nicer house. That's all I'm saying. Open up. Open the door. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name? Miss? We got bad news Michelle for you, kid. Ellie's Mahler? We got Can we come in for you? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? Now we wait for Father. We're going to have a look around. I don't know. Anymore, just yeah, I mean, I. Don't know if this is really ethical. I mean, 
I mean, her, her father's not home, her mother's been murdered. We don't have any reason to search this place, I wouldn't think. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. I don't know, just something about this does not just does not seem ethical. Nope, it's the same thing. Shoes. We have found shoes. Or boots. Same thing. Footwear. Work boots. Size eight. Size eight work boots. Duly noted Phelps. Someone plays the violin. But I don't think it pertains to anything that we're here for. Not sure this means much. Yeah, it's bad. I don't know why your sen your senses go off whenever you walk by a random cup in a kitchen, Phelps. Yes, it's, uh, Phelps this is isn't what we're looking for. Yeah, Phelps is a carrot. I don't think you can stab somebody with a carrot. Or, or nothing whatever, significant. Or whatever that is—a lemon, lime, whatever. It appears that somebody was trying to make dinner or lunch or whatever time it is over here. I don't think this is going to help us. I mean, I think we searched this place dry. Is this about mommy? Yes. Daddy is trying to find her. Yeah, Just we tell me she's okay. About I'm that. sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. They had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Interesting. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. And did he come and get you? Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called, and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. Bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. Maybe she did leave him, and that's why he killed he her. Always wore mm. her golden butterfly. Suspicious. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. There he is. Hey, what gives? Daddy, the police Go to your room, are here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of. Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found. What the... But, but she only... 
We have some questions that we would like to ask you. So don't, so don't sure. you dare come walking in your I house and you yell at me for being in your house. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Then why are your boots a size eight? You know anyone who wears a smallest men's shoe who had a major grudge against your wife? Is there something you would like to tell us, Hugo? No, I do not. You finished making hints? You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Was your wife unreliable? No. He's being hard to deal with. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Hey, we got him on one. Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes, that's right. I think you went with her, but you didn't go to the school. What really happened, Waller? You're making this stuff up, and I'll dare anyone to prove any different. Please, if that's all, please just leave. Damn you. I don't even get a chance to grieve and you go and start pointing the finger at me. You can go to hell. I'm already going there, so yeah. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. Yeah. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, but her hair, it drove me goddamn crazy. Her? Is it any reason to Do I look to like a Rockefeller? Her? Nobody but likes a cheapskate, Hugo. But is it any reason to hit her? Nobody Getting hostile wants. with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on it. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. I will put a bullet in your asshole. <laughs> you should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello, detective. Hello, how you do? Do you have questions for me, lady? I'm, I'm on my way. I'll be right there. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No. 
Not at all. I did see Mr. Mahler put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Get out of my way, motherfucker. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Phelps, get him, get him, boy, get him, get him, Phelps. Ah, the tackle was ass. Asphalt jungle trophy earned. <laughs> Now you stay right there. Check in the incinerator, Phelps. I'll hold our stupid friend here. Ooh, buddy, shoes. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I can, I can explain the blood. Uh huh. What you do? Step on a mouse. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, Miss? I, I don't. What's a woman? You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. When is America gonna understand? And now we'll take the car you want to take. That guy's got flowers. Galloway. Homicide division, badge number 564. Nice. Uh, we get Ray Pinker problems. and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street and send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, 11K. Inform detective Got it, KGPL. Okay, so we gotta go to uh, the uh, coroner's office then. I don't know if we have to go to Belmont High or not. I mean, I might have to go over there just to make sure, cover all my bases for this, but. Uh... If we survive this, it's gonna be a miracle. And at the next junction, you shut your trap. If someone reports this, oh, she's dead. Pretend like that, nothing, that like none of that ever happened. Run, you fucking idiots! I mean, we're already going to see the corner. We're just telling there's another person down the street. We have to look at. Suspicious to be a janitor. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Uh, take a look at the samples on the bench. Well, this is clearly a piece of rope. uses for that kind of rope on boats mooring lines correct although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches so are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister 
Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. It's a nice office she got here. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High, 1575. I guess we West are going to the high school after all. Are there any messages for me? Yes, Detective. A green 1946 coupe registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfields. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor's statement. Thanks, ma'am. Speaking of Janet, there's one in here now sweeping or mopping. And could you get out of my way? Out of the car, it's an emergency. Any Central Unit, a possible 288 at Belmont High School, 1575 West 2nd Street. Stand by for further unit to handle, identify code 2. 11K to KGPL, we'll take the 288. Go ahead with the further. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, man. Coroners. How so? Just go Helps easy, in. Phelps. No more hot dog for him, huh? I mean... You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Yeah, just about, not Rusty. Phelps! Yes. Bad Rusty. Calm down. Thanks for your trouble. High School, 6.12 p.m. Football field. This is the car? Yes, sir, Detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. We've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. And this was the same man? I don't know, Damn. sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man I mean, you've been having trouble with. Play he hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. Association, so. He was around here last night before the dance. He's, he's right there. Him. Yes, sir, I would say so, yes. He's over there There's talking. a son of a bitch now! Yeah, so hey, you! Is. Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off.
There he is. See him? There he is, officer. Yeah, I see him. I'm right behind him. Come back here, you dirty old man. Where the fuck you go? Oh, he's over there. Lock him up and throw away the key! The people are cheering you on, Phelpsy, as you run past them. Job Phelps here. What happened to Galloway? What's your name? Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you oaky motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. I have to take a crowbar and upside, a woman, you take it upside this guy's head. I like him a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. Please do. You're under arrest, Eli. You are in very deep trouble. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm going to take out my gun, and I'm going to count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a goddamn minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. I'm assuming we can't, we can't do anything with the, with the car that we were called here for. Is it, or do we have any other place else to go? I don't want intuition. Okay, so we're not done here yet then, I guess. Let's make it sure before we leave. this for? Why is it blue? I don't recall needing that car. Oh, nope, that we can. The trunk. Well, there's an outfit covered in blood, some sort of wrench, and the rope. All covered blood in blood. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. There's a tire iron. Interesting. Yeah, we, we need we need the uh, call box. Is it, where's the call box at? Where, where's the call box? 
Oh, there's the call box. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks for your help. The new just said, come on, Rusty. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the deal. Slow and steady, come on. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken gently. And we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. I don't know about this. My gut says Muller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard. And that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't Muller. Hell, he probably killed his wife. God, you're gonna kill us! Shut up, Galloway. I never said it wasn't Muller. Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something else. You really want to run that risk? Easy! Better not go papers. soft on Sound that big case. Belt. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the... Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. All right, Mr. Balsey. Let's talk to this guy oh. first. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes... I'll be dealing personally with him. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. What kind of job you like? Working fishing boats, odd jobs around the boat yards. I'm pretty good with my hands. Interesting. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you! See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. Oh, that's you, not what you mean, I, is I it? I don't think you're helping yourself here. Any old rope will do me fine. A boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tied. I've got one. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. Ain't done nothing like that. Come on, Eli. 
How else are you going to pay for yourself? I got me a pension from the first war. It ain't much, but it does pay some. I don't like you, Eli. I think you're an evil man. I think you try to pass off your pain to other people. I can't make you for this case. But my consolation is that I don't think you will be out of prison for very long. You can count on it, shitbird. By the way, Eli, the captain and the hat squad would like to talk to you next. Any idea what they might want to talk about? For my money, Hugo Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my two. sap. Ah, here's room number two. I got a hard case I need to break. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. It doesn't make you look any better. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Do you know anything about braided ropes? Some. Uh, they're mainly used for um, mooring lines, hawsers, you know, that kind of stuff. We don't have much use for them in the machine shop. We use chain hoists. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. It was you, Hugo. I'm offering you a chance to come clean on this. For the last time, I did not kill my wife. Detective, that's him. That's the guy who parked the car. I'm sure of it. Hey, he's getting away. That's not true. I can't. I can't go to jail. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in clothes. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit him! Clean this asshole off the road! Not this time, motherfucker. Not this time. Tram! Dusex Mackinac. We got lucky, bro. You and your goddamn Latin, Phelps. Thank goodness for the train. Give it up, LAPD! Thank you, Mr. Train Conductor. Whoever you are, thank you. Made my job a lot easier. say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. 
promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again, and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Your next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! What are you at me for? We got the guy, you motherfucker. Go back and eat your tater farm. The nerve of that man, I'll shove a tater up his ass. Irish bastard. But that's the case closed. We solved the case. Found 11 out of 12 clues, and we got 6 out of 15 questions correct. So, the. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm still enjoying playing this game, so thank you for watching. See you all next time. Cheers.